how to get a girl to make the first move. So basically what I want to talk about today is how you can get that girl that you like to make the first move. Um, now I personally don't usually, I'm usually the one that does make the first move when it comes to this kind of stuff. Um, but obviously if you're really shy and you're not confident enough to actually go up to someone you like and ask them out, then obviously you want them to make the first move. So how do we do this? How can you... Um, get them to come up to you and want to know more about you. Um, so the best way to do this is obviously to make yourself an approachable person. So let's say you really like a girl at work or at school. Um, be friendly to everybody. Make sure that you are approachable. And the way that you do this is by having fun with everybody around you, uh, making it seem like nothing um, bothers you, you know, you, you're always there having fun, having a good time and you'll become the person that other people want to be around and that will help um, the girl that you like come up to you and want to approach you first. Um, now obviously if you're shy and introverted, um, this might be a bit of an issue. Um, so if you want to just attract her, then I guess what you could do is you could just, whenever you see her, just give her a smile, look her in the eyes, give her a smile. Um, you could, you know, stick your tongue out, you know, or give her a little cheeky wink um, if you're confident enough to do so. Um, you know, just make her get open. Obviously, the best way to describe this is to um, give her a little subtle hint, but obviously... You don't want to make the first first move, otherwise you want to be watching this. So you want to make, you want to give her like a little signal, and the signal will be like, um, you know, just giving her some eye contact, giving her a smile, and that will um, make her realize or make her see, or at least hopefully make her see that you are a nice, friendly, approachable person, and that it is okay to approach you. So those are the best tips I have for you. I personally wouldn't do this. If I really like someone, then I would just go and ask them out. Um, uh, either, you know, go straight up to them or maybe test the waters to see if they are single. That might be a good thing to do before you actually ask someone out. But that's the quickest and the best way to get someone out on a date with you. Um, so, uh, yesterday I did a video and I gave you some helpful resources that have personally helped me with my mental health. I'll link a card up to those in um, uh, just around here. And um, basically, I want you to keep on going back to this playlist. And the reason why I want you to keep on going back to this playlist... By the way, none of, none of the stuff on that playlist is my videos. I'm not trying to plug my own videos here. These are videos that have helped me become um, better when it comes to my mental health, that have uh, helped with my confidence, helped with my spirituality, helped uh, with my self-esteem and my uh, outlook on life, made myself a more positive person, because don't think that you're a negative person because you're not. You just have a negative way of thinking. You're probably actually a really positive person, you just haven't realised it yet and you don't know how to change your mindset. So these will help you change your mindset. But like I said, keep on going back to this playlist because I will keep on adding stuff to it as I find it or if I remember about it. Because I remember when I made this playlist yesterday, I was like, is that all there is? I'm sure I've listened to like and watched more videos than this on, you know, that have helped me. And, I, you know, even today I've just realised, okay, that actually, yeah, I remember that one. I remember this one. So I'll, I'll, add those, add, I'll add those to that playlist. So make sure that you keep on coming back to this playlist. Also something a little bit different that I'm going to be doing in my videos, which you're going to want to make sure that you come back for, is I'm going to give you an exercise each day. Something small, not something like huge. I don't want you to write like a, you know, 3,500 page essay or whatever, you know. Um, I just, I just want um, a little bit of action to be taken. And the reason why this is, is because when we actually take action, that's when things start changing. You know, it's, it's easy for me to say to, to, to um, you know, become a more positive person or to, you, or you need to become a more positive person in order to attract the girl of your dreams. Um, you need to, or it's easy for me to say to you, oh, make sure that you look this girl in the eyes and you, and you smile at her for her to want to come up to you and approach you. Or you've got to be like the fun person to be around and become more approachable. None of that's going to work with me saying that unless you actually take action. 
So I'm going to give you a little action exercise today, and this is something that can help boost your self-esteem. That's going to make you feel a little bit better, especially if you're having a hard day. So the exercise for today, if you just want to read it, I'm going to put it in the description below so you remember it, so you just don't, you know, hear me say it and then you just forget it. Um, so it's going to be in the description, so make sure you look at it. And the exercise that I want you to do is I just want you to uh, give an act of kindness today. So your act of kindness could be um, making a cup of coffee for your partner or you, if you live with your parents, why don't you ask them if, hey, dad, do you want a coffee? Hey, mum, do you want a coffee? Or a cup of tea or something, do you want me to make you something? You know, just do something nice for someone, especially if you do this for someone in your family, it's going to have an even higher vibration. So if you want to feel really good, then do something for a family member. Um, or alternatively, if you're alone, then maybe you, you can just, you know, give give some money to a charity. Um, if you're at work, maybe you can, you know, help someone out at work. Something that you don't usually do. Go out of your way today to um, to help someone. And that's the exercise for today. I also have a little snap of um, information um, from a book that I'm reading, which is called The Magic of Thinking Big. I've read this book before, but actually... Because it's the se only the second time I've read it. There was a lot I've missed out. And I usually find that when I'm reading books. There's usually something that I miss out. So I'm going to read what this says. This quote. Try not to lose my page. Because this is... This is I'm not... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Here's the book. The Magic of Thinking Big. I recommend you get it, by the way. By the way, if I can find an audiobook version of it on YouTube, I'm going to put it in the positive resources playlist. Um, it might not be there forever, so make sure you watch it, because usually companies like Audible take those kinds of videos down after a certain period of time, because obviously they want people to buy, you know, have an Audible subscription or buy the audiobook. But anyway, this is how the quote goes, and hopefully this will help you. The thinking that guides your intelligence is much more important than how much intelligence you may have. And basically what this means is it's all about mindset. Okay, If you have positive um, outlook towards life, then, when you, then it's more important than your actual intelligence. Because if you, you know, get a piece, let's say you get a piece of information... And how you use that is much more powerful with your own positive outlook than someone who may get it and just store it in their head and have a negative personality. So, yeah, I hope that's how I interpreted that anyway. You might have interpreted it different because when we all read a book, we usually interpret it differently because of our worldview. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall talk to you again very soon.